Hey guys, what's up? It's Moss903 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install shaders on Minecraft 1.8 with Optifine. So, uh, before I get started, I just wanted to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I'm on my way to 6,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So, in the description, you're going to find four links to download these four files. It shouldn't really take that long because uh, the files aren't that big uh, in size. So uh, yeah, so download these four files and um, from there what you're going to want to do is go down if you have Windows 8 or Windows 7 and type in percent app data percent. I think you can do this somehow on Windows 8 if you're not sure. You can just look up uh, how to get to uh, the .minecraft folder on Windows 8. I highly recommend upgrading to 10 from Windows 8 because um, I don't know, I wasn't a big fan of Windows 8. but. That's besides the point. So what you're going to want to do from here is this folder contains all like your Minecraft uh, files in it, like your saves and all that stuff, your texture packs, etc, etc. So what you want to do is hit Control A or at least select everything and then hit Control C or uh, copy basically. And what you want to do is make a new folder on your desktop just for a backup. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, but um, since I don't really have much in my folder, I'm probably just going to delete everything, but you should still have a backup just in case anything does go wrong. So once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete all my things, so you might as well just follow along with me and you can uh, transfer back your saves after um, the video is done. So once you've done that, what you want to do is go back to Minecraft, and from here you're probably going to get this page if you deleted everything. So go ahead and type in your credentials and then uh, we can get on with the next step. Okay guys, so once you get onto this page, what you're going to want to do is click on Edit Profile, and instead of using the latest version, go ahead and use Minecraft 1.8. Um, it's really not going to be much of a big difference if you end up using 1.8 over anything else. So from there, go ahead and hit play. It's going to download all the minecraft.jar f uh, files. And um, we can go back to our percent app data folder really fast. And uh, you guys will be able to see the files being recreated right here. Alright guys, so uh, some new folders have just been added. As you can see, some folders are being added right now. And there you go. Minecraft is launched and we are on Minecraft 1.8. So that's it for the first step. The next thing that you're going to want to do is uh, go to Forge. I highly recommend putting all the four files into one folder just because it's easier. So double click on the Forge, fo uh, Forge uh, application and don't get worried if this doesn't appear first. Um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download Java. I will have a link in the description for that. All you have to do is download it and then probably restart your computer and then you can resume the video from wherever you left off. So if this doesn't show up right away, just go ahead and do that. From there, hit Install Client and then click OK. It's going to download the libraries and it shouldn't really take that much longer and then we're going to have to restart Minecraft. Alright guys, so once uh, the client has been uh, installed, all you have to do is click OK and then restart, restart Minecraft. But don't click Play right away. What you want to do is hit Edit Profile and instead of having it on Release 1.8, you want to scroll all the way down and click on Forge. You can either do that, or you can change it to Forge right here, and then it will play it by itself. So that's what I'm going to do. Just uh, change the profile to Forge. It will still use your uh, actual Minecraft username and all that stuff, but it, you're going to be using the Forge mod with it. So as you can see, this stuff's going to happen. Don't get scared or anything. They're just installing the folders. And uh, to make sure you do have Forge installed, you should see this extra text down here. So from here, all you have to do is hit Quick Game, and then we're going to have to reopen up our percent app data percent folder. And uh, go back to your .minecraft and you should see a brand new folder called mods. From here you want to copy and paste Optifine. Once you've done that, all you have to do is relaunch Minecraft. There's only like two or three more steps, so the video shouldn't take much longer. Alright, so once that happens, uh, you should see Optifine, uh, Optifine underscore 1.8 HD, what, I think the U stands for Ultra or something. But that means you have Forge and Optifine installed on your computer. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit Quick Game one more time, and go ahead and copy, and then paste the Shaders mod into the exact same Mods folder. Now basically, we're done with the video from here, but I'm going to show you guys how to install the Texture Pack as well. So um, one thing I did notice about when you install Shaders, Optifine, and Forge and stuff, Minecraft does take way longer to open up. Normally my Minecraft opened up in like one second probably, but now it takes a bit more. Oh, Peter Griffin. That's kind of cool, but if you hit Mods, um, you should get a bunch of these things over here. I'm not really too sure what they all mean, but it basically just uh, confirms that you do have uh, the mod loader on or forge. 
So um, I'm going to quickly change my GUI scale because I'm not really a big fan of that and then change my FOV to 90. And then uh, from here all you want to do is create a new world just to, this is basically a test world, okay? And then uh, once you make sure everything works, you can go ahead and uh, transfer back your saves from your old Minecraft folder to your new one. So as you can see, we are back on uh, Minecraft now. And uh, from here, what we're going to want to do is I'm going to just get onto some dry land over here. But from here, all you want to do is hit Escape, Options, Shaders, and you're going to see these two things. From here, hit Open Shaders Packs Folder. Okay, and here there's going to be nothing, so what you want to do is right click, copy, and then paste the Zeus folder that I have, I mean the Zeus download link that I have in the description. Do not unzip this, okay? You cannot unzip that. And then once you do that, all you have to do is click on this, click done, click done, back to game, and as you can see, we do have Shaders Mod installed successfully with Optifine on Minecraft 1.8. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if y'all aren't already. Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Griffin, he did help me, uh, he basically taught me how to install this mod, so I'm forwarding it on to you guys, he does have a YouTube channel, so I'll leave that in the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to check out his channel, and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to both of our channels. And uh, yeah, that's really it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.